I moved back to the beach. I grew up on the beach, but I, I moved inland for a long time and lived in this condo. And But then when I moved back to the beach, there's kind of like a junky sort of terrible wave out front. So I wanted to get a bunch of fun boards that I could ride in these mushy little waves. And the fish get was one of them. I, I got a couple fishes and everything was pretty fun. But the fish get I really love because it was, it just goes so fast. It has, it has so much drive and, and you can still get pretty loose and <clears throat> do some nice turns on it and stuff. But it's just like... It's almost like a toy or something. You just have so much fun on it. And uh, so I started packing it in my in my board bag and it ended up being really easy. It just slips right in there under the rock or the bottom board and kind of protects it. And and it really helps when the waves go flat for a couple days. It, you know, it's easy to get kind of depressed and down and you're not surfing on a surf trip because there's not a whole lot of other things to keep you occupied a lot of the time. But I can pretty much ride anything on a flat day and still have fun on those fish kits. Just, they just go so fast. Yeah, I was calling my first one Sam. I don't know why. That was just something I actually, I didn't actually call it Sam. I never actually even said that. I just wrote it down. That was something I wrote in a blog. I never actually, but then somehow it like kept caught on and like my friends were saying Sam. Well, not even my friends, just one guy. Well, a couple people were saying like, you bringing Sam out today? You know, I never even actually really called it Sam myself. I just wrote that down for some reason. Do a little drawing. But that was that was still the best. One. That was my favorite one still. Was, well, the next one was Clementine. Just there was a, there was a little period there when I was I was doing lots of like um, child drawings on on my boards and and then sort of Sam and Clementine came from that sort of <laughs> spawned from that I guess. The new one I haven't even I haven't named this one. There's no names. Uh, he's anonymous. I actually I try and I try and pack the bare minimum. That I need. I hate traveling with too many things, and I hate electronic things because you got to bring all the chargers and stuff. So I don't bring a computer. I just bring an iPod, an iPod with the car connector, so I don't have to bring a charger. Really, it just kind of doubles up. Um, I don't, basically, if I and and I usually I'll bring like <clears throat> notebooks and you know watercolors and stuff to fool around with, and and then some cameras, and I try and get get the photos processed while I'm on the road so I can have something to fool around with and just, I don't know, I prefer that, that sort of stuff. I've, it, it, I don't know. I, I could sit on the internet all day, but then when I do something like that, it, it, it's a little more, uh, I don't know, productive. <laughs>